Hello, uh, I just wanted to show you how to install a uh, Temple OS on a virtual machine. So, first what you want to do is, uh, you want to go to the Temple OS website, templeos.org. Um, this is the official Temple OS website. Uh, it'll be greeted with a Temple OS logo. What you want to do, you can either click here, which will download the... Uh, Temple OS ISO, which is the file that you need, the operating system itself, or you can click on the little download button below it. And then uh, you can either pick the Temple OS, the regular ISO, which comes packed with games and like extras and graphics and stuff, or the Temple OS Lite, which is like two uh, megabytes, I think, but it doesn't really come with many games. So, after you uh, download that, you're going to need either uh, VirtualBox, which is virtualbox.org, uh, or VMware, which uh, Terry himself used VMware, but I honestly don't recommend VirtualBox because it doesn't emulate the sound correctly, so there's going to be no sound, but if that doesn't a, uh, bother you, then... I would go with VirtualBox, seeing as how it's free, but uh, VMware Workstation is all around better, but usually uh, VMware Workstation uh, 16 Pro, but uh, it actually costs money, but you can, ha you can try it for like three days or whatever. Um, but you can either find like uh, keys for VM VMware Workstation, Pro, uh, I bought mine off of Anna, but it doesn't seem to have, they don't seem to be selling it anymore, see, but, uh, uh, I bought mine for, like, 70 cents, but you can find keys just on, like, forum sites, or, uh, you can buy it from places like Anna, so, you have, uh, Temple OS, it's still downloading, sorry, my internet is kind of sucky at the moment, but, uh, you may notice Temple OS doesn't have exactly what you want, so I recommend using um, Tinker OS. It is a modified version of Temple OS with a few uh, different things. Um, if you're looking to play uh, After Egypt specifically, I highly recommend uh, Tinker OS. Um, it also comes bundled with uh, chess and Oregon Trail, which is really cool. But uh, I, I just honestly recommend Tinker OS. It, it seems to run at a slower frame rate, but it has a lot more options. So you want to click, uh, you want to go down here. Uh, it's just on GitHub, GitHub uh, Tinker OS. And you just want to click on the Tinker OS. Uh, here's the source files if you want that. A, uh, then there's some more information about Tinker OS. But if you want to download it, then uh, go to releases on the right, and then you can you can download the pre-release. But I don't recommend that. I I go with the the latest. And right here is the regular file. Now. Uh, I'm going to teach you how to install uh, both of them because it's honestly really simple. Um, so once you have Tinker OS or Temple OS, um, or both, you know, you can go with whatever you want, then you should open up uh, VirtualBox or VMware. Personally, I use uh, VMware because, as I said, I bought a key for it. So um, you can also use uh, VMware Player which is extremely similar but you want to go to file or you could right click here but you want to go to file new virtual machine uh typical i recommend going with typical i have i don't mess around with advanced because i'm not that much of a nerd but i recommend going typical uh here you either want to check um i will install the operating rating system later or install disk and then uh, this is basically going to say it's going to put the it's automatically going to put the ISO file in the disk drive. And 
if you click on browser, you want to find your uh, files, which is in my download folder because I just downloaded it. So I have Temple OS. I'm going to select Temple OS because that's what we're going to do first. You're going to hit next. Now this is important. Um, see, obviously Temple OS is not Microsoft Windows, nor is it Linux, nor is it whatever this is. So you want to go with other and Temple OS is uh, an other 64-bit operating system. It is specifically 64-bit, so you want to click on the other 64-bit. You click Next, name it whatever you want, Temple OS for the video. I'm just going to name it for the video. You can type whatever you want. Um, this is going to ask how much a... Uh, how much size you want to make the disk I I just leave it at that honestly uh, click next and then you want to go in here you want to give temple OS I think it minimum requirement is one gig I usually give it one gig anyways uh, processors I usually give it like two or four um, temple OS does not have a network adapter you can completely remove that nor does it have a sound card, so you can completely remove that. You don't have to remove it, but I usually do. So, uh, once you have all that set up, then you want to click finish. And then if you did everything correctly, um, it'll have it selected. Your Temple OS ISO should already be in there if you uh, put it in there on boot. Then you click uh, power on this virtual machine. Yes. I am going to F9, I said I'm going to F9, so as you can see, uh, Temple OS, this is Temple OS, you boot it up, um, the ISO, we should automatically uh, start it, if you did it correctly, um, now it's going to ask you, do you want to install on to a, uh, would you like to install onto a hard drive? Uh, if you're using a virtual machine and you want you want to keep this permanently, then press uh, Y. Are you installing side VMware? Uh, yes, I am. So press yes. It's normal for this to freeze for a moment or two, so just press any key, and then Temple OS will do the rest for you. It'll it's going to copy all of its files. It's going to copy what it needs to run, which is great. Uh, Terry Davis made its own his own install type thing. Um, I'm not a complete nerd, so I don't exactly know uh, all the proper terms or usage. Now, it's done. That's how quick it is. And it's going to ask you, Are you going to? do you want to reboot now? Um, I recommend pressing yes. It literally takes like, I don't know, it literally takes like five seconds to reboot. Now, this is the bootloader. Uh, you're going to see uh, old boot record, which is... I don't know, it's probably going to be nothing. Um, obviously C drive and D drive, those are both Temple OS installs. Um, so you basically have two different versions that you can do whatever you want with. Um, I'm going to go with the first one. It's going to uncompress, uh, uncompress the dictionary. <coughs> uh, if you're new to Temple OS, I recommend uh, taking the tour, but I am not, so I'm going to click no. And here we are. This is Temple OS. Now, um, you can do whatever you want with Temple OS. Uh, the most helpful command is you can either click right here to go to the main menu, which is where all the games are, where most of the programs are and whatnot, or uh, you can press Control M. And how I'm doing, uh, how I'm closing and opening is uh, Control Alt X closes Windows. Control Alt T opens up a new terminal, and then Control M will take you home. So here you can play all your favorite Temple OS games. And this is auto complete. Uh, you can close auto complete if you want to open it up again. Press Alt, hold Alt, and then press A, and then it'll open up. Uh, it'll give you basic commands. Now, once you're on the home page, uh, I definitely recommend going to the key map because this will tell you. Oh, whoops, I accidentally exited. No, 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 no. You want to go on the key map and it'll tell you uh, keybinds, which is extremely useful.
it'll tell you basically everything, you know? So that's uh, that's how you install, install Temple OS. Uh, if you're using VMware uh, and you're like, well, crap, now I can't go up here and control, you know, I can't go back to my computer. How do I do that? On your left, uh, the left side of the keyboard, hold down control and then press alt and then it'll release it and you'll be back on your computer so uh, that's how you do temple os now we're going to do uh, shrine os you want to go to create new virtual machine typical uh instead of picking a uh temple os you're going to pick temp tinker os obviously and then you're going to click next. You're going to do uh, other, other 64-bit operating system. Uh, Tinker OS for the video. Uh, uh, just keep that as usual. Uh, you want to go to customize hardware. I think it, I think it takes, uh, it either takes one gig or two. I'm going to give it two just in case. I'm gonna give it uh, two processors as well. Like last time, we don't need a network adapter and we don't need a sound card. Finish. Now, uh, you're gonna do the same thing that you did uh, last time. It's gonna it's it's gonna be extremely uh, similar. Uh, see, look, it's extremely similar. It's uh, Temple OS essentially, and you're going to do the same thing, but with few extra steps. So, do you want to install on the hard drive? Yes. Warning: Note this will uh, optional partition your drive. So basically, it's saying that your drive, any d data that you have on your drive, will be completely gone. But since this is a virtual machine, it does not matter at all. So perform automated partitioning. I recommend pressing yes. Um, and then remember how it said drive uh, C and D? Well, with Tinker OS, you can have up to four of those. For uh, fun, I'm going to do, I'm just going to do two like normal. And then here's another pro of uh, Tinker OS is you can pick the resolution. Now, the original resolution of uh, Temple OS is right here 640 by 480. So, um, I want my C drive to be 480. Now, for the video, I'm going to choose, uh, we're going we're gonna to go with the highest resolution. But I always recommend going with the original resolution or 800 by 600 because uh, sometimes it'll break it and it won't work correctly. Now, would you like to install extra supplemental ISOs? I recommend this because if you ever need those, you can just uh, find them that you already have them on your device, and that's it. Uh, ready to install? It's normal for this to freeze. Yep, it's gonna freeze. Now, uh, Tinker OS might take a little bit longer to install than a uh, Temple OS because it is installing more, but you know that shouldn't be a problem. It doesn't really take very long to install, anyways. Maybe it takes 30 seconds or 20 or however long. <laughs> And if you don't have 20 seconds to just sit there and do nothing, then that sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> but uh, it's installing. It just uh, downloaded the Bible, actually. And now it has downloaded the supplementals. Um, now it's done. Well, it's done now. So do I want to reboot? Yes. I will reboot now this uh, remember this is the 480 by uh, I forgot the resolution but this is the original resolution the first one uh, you want to take a tour if you're new I recommend you do no um, controls are going to be the same control alt X will close the tab uh, control alt T will open up another tab um, control M will take you home. Uh, once again, the key map is in the exact same spot. Uh, to bring up the autocomplete, you just uh, control A, I mean not control A, alt A. But you may notice something different, and that is after Egypt.
is featured in Ticker OS. Now, originally with a uh, Temple OS, you have to uh, you have to use one of the supplemental files and you have to type in a whole bunch of commands and stuff. But with Tinker OS, it's literally built in to the system itself. Uh, you also have chess, you got Oregon Trail, which is pretty fun actually. And you have, uh, I think there's one more game. No, I think that's it. But, uh, so yeah, that's that's a uh, Tinker OS. If you want to find the supplementals, if you go Control D, it'll take you to the uh, file manager. So uh, the supplemental files are in. Um, I think they're in extras. Yeah, they're in extras. It also comes with the original Temple OS file, which is really cool. Um, and yeah, uh, it's it's basically the same thing as Temple OS. Um, so just have fun with it like you would normal temple os once again if you're stuck uh you hit Control alt and then you can control your computer again you're gonna shut it well i'm gonna shut it down you don't have to but if you're gonna mess around with it then have fun um the whole point of temple os is to have fun with programming so even if you're not a programmer it's still pretty fun to explore but uh that's gonna be it um, for the video, uh, hopefully this helped you and gave you a little, uh, some tips on how to, uh, you know, some, uh, keybinds and how to use Temple OS. So, uh, that's it. Um, see ya.